Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have a makeup haul. I also did want to include some of the makeup products that I bought while I was in Mexico last week. So for Ulta, there was a sale going on. I believe it was by two Makeup Revolution products. You get one free. And I've been wanting to try out this palette. And there's another palette as well that I want to pick up. This one is in Reloaded. I don't have a lot of these types of colors in my collection. So that's why I was more lenient to pick this one up versus the brown tone one. And the, the shimmer ones are very creamy versus the mattes. But the mattes do have a lot of pigmentation as well. Especially, especially since this palette is only $7. So I really do recommend if you don't have anything like this in your collection to pick it up and try it out. And then the other thing that I've been wanting to try is this Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. I picked up in the color C10. Um, this color, it kind of is along my shade, but it is a little bit too, like, going medium on the pink side, but it will work. I've heard a lot of things that this is like a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. The consistency and the applicator is, but it does not have as much coverage as the Shape Tape. So if you are looking for something that is kind of similar to it, but you don't want to spend the money for the Tarte Shape Tape, I do recommend this one just because so far it does it does apply like the Shape Tape one. But I do you do have to use like a little bit extra, go a little bit just on the heavy side, but not that heavy um, to have that same coverage as the Shape Tape one. And so the next thing that I wanted to pick up on the Makeup Revolution line was this foundation stick i've heard a lot of mixed reviews about this and i don't own a foundation stick yet so i do want to try this out and i'll definitely let y'all know how this works out the other thing that i wanted to pick up was this Too faced born this way foundation i do have it on my skin so far and i do like the application of it the only thing that i'm a little bit nervous is just the fact that i did not use my mattifying primer under the skin i ended up using the Too faced hangover primer and i feel like it might not hold up with my oily skin so i think next time that i try out this foundation i'm gonna use my um wet and wild mattifying primer so that way i can see what the longevity is of this foundation because so far i do like the way that it looks and i like the way that i applied on my skin but i do have very oily skin and so i'll definitely let y'all know how this holds up but like i said it's not that difficult for me to switch out primers because i'm used to always having having to try out the foundations like three to four times before I finally get the right products on my face so that way the foundation can hold up throughout the day. And so the next thing that I wanted to pick up was this Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. It is in the color Fair Light. This is the powder that I use under my eyes to set and I love it. It is quite similar to the Too Faced one, but I would say that the Too Faced one is just a little bit more finely milled. But I just like how this one looks under my eyes because it provides like an extra coverage on it because it does have a little hint of color. So the next thing that I repurchased was my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I am running out of my old one and I love this concealer. And also, I did want to try out the Maybelline Master Conceal. I've heard good things about this and as well as the coverage. I will definitely probably do a video on it on just other new products that I tried. Or I would just do a video alone on this seeing how this works out. And so for the makeup products that I bought in Mexico, to be honest, I, some of the products that I bought were like at small little market stores. And the other ones that I did buy were like at the mall per se and so for the first one i bought this liquid lipstick in matte and i really do like the color it doesn't say oh i believe the color is in glam and so the next thing that i bought that was like not at the mall was this blush and i was just really intrigued by it because it has so much shimmer in it and i mean i'm loving shimmery blushes during summer right now 
you can't see it but I can see it now and I just love these shimmery brushes right now during summertime because I tend to overdo my blush but I mean that's not for everybody but it is for me and so the next thing that I got excited for was this G and K essential so this is a brand that I did buy at the mall in Mexico I'm not sure if it's like an official brand over there or not but when I swatch these colors at their store they were just so pretty and the main color that i was wanting to try out was this one and that's how it looks and it's shimmer and they just feel so creamy i wish i didn't have all my fingers dirty and if you want i will do a look with it but i know with this kinds of items you can't get over here so i'll probably just do a look and just post a picture of it and then the next items that I bought was kind of like what my cousins were telling me, that it's kind of the dupe for MAC. It's called Gawk. <laughs> and these, these items were a little bit more expensive. I think both of them combined were $25 or $27. And so the first one that I bought was this blush. And I don't have a blush like this in my collection, so that's why I decided to pick it up. And this is more like a darker mauve tone one. I don't know why, but I just really liked it at the store. And I was like, I'm going to pick it up. And so the next thing that I picked up was this eye, single eyeshadow. And doesn't have a color, just has a number. And I just thought it was so pretty. And that's how that one looks like. All right, guys, so that is it for my makeup haul. Let me know if you want to see any tutorials, in-depth reviews of any of the products that I showed, and I could definitely do that for you. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you next time.